Donald Trump famously skewered President Obama for playing golf, but since taking office, President Trump has spent plenty of time on the links himself. Back with me now, my panel. You guys are going to love to talk about this. So let's talk about... <laughs> <laughs> What's there looking goes the bipartisan agreement. More and more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about what's looking more and more uh, like President Trump's weekend routine here, okay? Uh, we crunched the numbers and found that the president has spent six weekends and a total of 21 days at Mar-a-Lago. The total cost for those trips around $21.6 million. Uh, Bakar, I think it's, so I'm going to check those numbers, but I think it's like 13 times that he's been to the golf course? 17 times that he's been to the golf 17 course. 17 times, yeah. Yeah, so, um, is it, you know. So, it, the, just, for, just for pure numbers sake, in the first 81 days of office, Barack Obama went to the golf course zero times. In the first 81 days of office, Donald Trump has been 17 times. But let's not even talk about just the, the, the way that that looks. Let's talk about the fiscal accountability or lack thereof. And the fact is that Donald Trump is on pace to spend more money in his first year. Uh, traveling, oh, Bacari, traveling hold, the world hold, hold, for I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you finish, uh, Bakari. <laughs> Did you just Kanye <laughs> with me? Kanye I was West making you. a point. But I'm, no, no, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna make, put that graphic back up, please, because we that heard, was fun to to. we heard so much from Donald Trump about President Obama going to the golf course and playing, and then, but look at that, 17 times, Obama zero times. I'm just saying, people. There, if you don't see the hypocrisy in that, then you don't want to see it. You're 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 blind. Can as I, a matter of fact, can I let's, back? let's listen can I, to him. Can let's I accept look, my award? Can, can I finish? finish? Yes, you can finish. Can but let's like listen to him, and I'll let you finish. <laughs> Obama, it was reported today, played 250 rounds of golf. He played more golf last year than Tiger Woods. That plays more golf than people on the PGA Tour. Golf, 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 golf. More, more. Learning how to chip, learning how to hit the drive, learning how to putt. Oh, I want more. I love golf. I think it's one of the greats, but I don't have time. I'm going to be working for you. I'm not going to have time to go play golf. I wouldn't leave the White House very much because, you know, like little things like these little trips where they get on, they cost you a fortune. If I were in the White House, I don't think I'd ever see Turnberry again. I don't think I'd ever see Doral again. I just want to stay in the White House and work my ass off, make great deals, right? Who's going to leave? Me too, guys. Same face. That's not fair. You, you, took, you took most of my thunder, but my point, my point still <laughs> remains that the, the right has lost credibility. The, the Fox News, the right talk shows, all of these people, uh, it's just filled with hypocrisy. My fiscal conservatives and everyone else who blasted Barack Obama for, for going golfing, they now are all of a sudden quiet about the utter expense. Donald Trump should just come out and say that simply we can't feed the homeless, we can't feed our veterans, we can't take care of the poor because you have to take care of my three homes and you have to shuttle me around the country to play golf. And so I am sick and tired of the hypocrisy that we're facing, and I wish someone, maybe Kaylee or Ben, can sit up here and justify this behavior because the fact is he's not at home. He's not doing the work necessary. And as Sean Hannity says, it's really despicable okay. when your president is sitting there talking about Syria policy. Let's get in. All right. Let's just go and back to let Kaylee talk, a please, couple of days ago. Because right, you, you're, you're me, hogging the entire segment. I haven't even talked about golf. No, so first if one, first one talking, you did. All right, go ahead. I will. I will. I will go ahead. Go ahead. You'll defer to Kay Kaylee. Go on. Because Kay Kaylee, before you go on, the president is on pace <laughs> in his first <laughs> year of office to surpass former President Barack Obama's spending on travel for the entire eight years. Come on now. Look, you know, you're right. But one thing I want to point out is when Bakari talks that, about it's, this it's hypocrisy with golf, there's so much there's so much hypocrisy with as Ben pointed out on his Twitter feed, you can go check it out. He pointed out when liberal left wing commentators were, you know, now now, you know, talking about how upset they are about Syria, when Trump does something good on behalf of Syria, the same liberal commentators then can hate that Trump does something good on behalf of Syria. No, but we're, we're talking about travel. hypocrisy, and I think I'm, point, I'm pointing out that you want to point to hypocrisies, it happens on both sides. So, I mean, the left can't sit here and act holier than thou as if there's nothing going on, no hypocrisy on the oh left. Oh, my gosh. All right, go Do ahead. I need to raise my hand again? No, no way. We'll go look ahead. again and after this. Go ahead. Just, go just ahead. let me know when I can put it down. <laughs> Just real quick, Ben, I'll be much quicker than you've ever been. So just really interesting point here. 
We are now the fiscal conservatives, Bakari. Who would have ever thunk it? We are now the party of fiscal conservatism. We're talking about 28 of 100 days. Kaylee, hey, don't shake your hand, girl. You know I'm right. But 28 of 100 no, days. No, you're not. This guy is you're on President the golf course. Well, I don't know what you thought President. about the golf because you were talking about Syria. But the only point that I'm raising is a million dollars a day, Melania. Three million dollars a three million dollars a trip Donald Trump. We're talking about spending that cash. I mean, shouldn't it's you be, ben, shouldn't you be leading by example? If you are a conservative, a fiscal conservative, shouldn't you, your life be an example of that? Or is it, yes. do you, is it good for you to do questions. as I say and not no, I as I do? Three points here. One, what has the national debt done under the spending, under this president? Has it gone up or has it gone down? Oh, my no, that's God. Not Can we talk that's about golf? No, there's three, three things. And sure, going I'll to talk about golf. There's a difference between when he was in Mar-a-Lago just a couple days ago, was he not with one of the biggest leaders in the world? And were they not spending time talking about <laughs> North Korea? And were they not doing do that in DC? He can't do that at DC. What I'm saying he is, you can't do that at Camp David. You can't do it at DC. Let me finish. Let me let me finish my point. When you go down there and you meet and you spend quality time playing golf with a, with a world leader, there is a relationship there that's being built. You cannot criticize they him for build sitting some there golf with a, with a leader. D.C. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Maybe they should build some golf courses I, I, in Washington. Again, or maybe they should build a golf course at Camp David in D.C. What was the temperature? Hold on now. Shaw, what, I mean, they, you're acting as if somehow the weather in Florida is the same in New York or Washington, D.C. Oh, 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 so your golf clubs don't work in the cold. And guess what? It was warm. It was in the 50s this weekend. What are you talking about? When you have a world come in. I gotta go, and Ben. I gotta go. Here's club. the thing. In Florida, there's here's nothing the thing. wrong with that. Ben, here's the thing. <laughs> you guys come, you can you can never criticize or at least uh, we show the tape of, of the president being hypocritical. And you go, oh no, he's not being hypocritical. Can't Don't believe me, you just say you can't even acknowledge it. That when takes your credibility you away. You have no credibility when you do that. Three million dollars a trip. Absolutely. Right. Is there work being done? Three million dollars. Yes. Bye, Felicia. When you're three million dollars. Like that. Bye. Bye. See y'all later. Thank you. We'll be right back.